Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a software installation error on your Windows 11 computer and that whatever program you're attempting to install is unable to successfully install. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search icon, little magnify icon. And you want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check on back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And before you begin the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you would easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I normally recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Keep export range at all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And now we are ready to begin. So, and, you know, if you had to import it back in, you just would select file and then import and navigate to the final location. So pretty straightforward. And like I said, we're ready to begin. So start by double clicking on the HK classes root folder. So double click on that. Now you want to locate the msi.package folder. So you can just left click on any random folder in here and start typing it. So again, msi. And one of the best results, check on back to msi.package. Go ahead and double click on that value. And now that we're in here, you want to go ahead and select shell. And there should be a value that says shell. So right click on the shell value, select new, and then select key. Name this key run as, and that's it. And you just hit enter. Now on the right side, you want to double click on the string value up here at the top. And you want to call this install as Again, you're going to have it exactly how you see it on my screen here. So again, install as, and then you're going to do the and sign. So hold on the shift and the seven key on your keyboard at the same time. So again, shift and seven key combination. So you have the little and sign. And then immediately after that, you're going to go type in administrator. No spaces. and then hit enter or click on OK to save. Alright, so on the run as folder you want to right click now and select new. Select key. You want to name this key command all lowercase c-o-m-m-a-n-d. Hit enter. On the right side you want to double click on the default value again while we've selected command. And I'm going to have a value data in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it and then paste it into the string value here. Again, I will have this in the description of the video. I don't want you guys to try and type it out here. So just paste it in and then select OK. And then once you're done with that, you're going to have to close out of here. You will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. And that should hopefully be about it. And then you should be able to install the program without problems. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.